Hello again and welcome to episode 9 in our series about the energy retrofit of the old cottage next to the Greeny flat. In our last episode we were talking about passive solar design and how we apply it in an ideal situation such as we have in the Greeny flat and how it can also be applied to an existing building. In a situation where we've got limited potential for passive solar, what do we do? Well, let me just uh, reach into my little passive solar design bag of tricks and we'll see what we can do with a thing called a trom wall. Now what's a trom wall? Well, to explain that, I need to go back to the drawing board. In the full version of this video, I go into a lengthy explanation of the details of how passive solar design works and what a trom wall is, but for this short version, let's uh, just say that a trom wall is a masonry wall just inside the, a north facing window on a house and the trom wall provides thermal mass to uh, store some of the heat that comes in from the sun during the day. So if this is a solid masonry wall with vents top and bottom and this is our timber wall here. So when the sun's shining in hitting the wall, the wall is storing that heat and it, take, it will take time so that at night that heat will come out, come through the wall and into the building. But also during the day, this space between the window and the wall can warm up and that warm air will rise and come out through the vents which will pull cool air in so you'll get what's called a convection loop happening. So that's the basics of what a trom wall is. So, what we um, intend to do with the, greeny, with the uh, house next to the greeny flat is knock the chimney down to ceiling height and close it off. So obviously we won't be able to use it as an open fire anymore, so we'll get rid of that. And then we're actually going to put a window right in front of where the chimney is so that that window will act like a, like a trom wall. Then the fireplace then becomes the masonry portion of the trom wall. So we have this little space be behind. The sun shines in and warms the masonry of the fireplace and stores that heat. Now, um, there's also a bit of airspace all around that chimney, so we'll probably add in some vents on the face of the, of the above the mantelpiece so that it, we can get that convection loop happening where to draw air in and then warm air will come out. So that's how we're, um, oh, and by the way this is not just sitting on the floor, it goes down to a, a whole foundation under the house. But that's how we're planning to use the existing fireplace to make a trom wall so we can take advantage of the thermal mass of that fireplace that's already there um, to make up for the fact that the existing house basically doesn't have any thermal mass in it. So here we're looking at the north wall of the house and you can see the chimney behind the timber framing and we're in the process of cutting the timber framing out uh, to frame in the new window. It's a really important point to note that thermal mass is only useful if it's inside the insulated thermal boundary of the building. Here you can see we've painted the brickwork black to help it absorb more heat and we've insulated around the rest of that framework below the old chimney. And here we're putting in a new double glazed window with frosted glass so that you can't see through and see that there's a, a chimney behind. So that's how we're planning to use that existing chimney as a trom wall to take advantage of the thermal mass that's in the building already. And uh, now don't forget you can learn all about passive solar design on our website at greenyflat.com.au. In the next episode we're going to talk about how we plan to use the rest of this north wall as a solar air heater. So thanks for watching and see you next time.